going on, everybody? My name is Austin. Holy shit, I'm sorry about my fucking... Yeah, there we go. Still a little off. Anyway, what's going on, everybody? My name is Austin. We're back at Burger Park Gaming, and we are back with Life is Strange Before the Storm. In the last episode, we found out that the Sarah Chick has been causing problems for everybody. It is, uh... Rachel's mom. So, that was interesting. Yeah, I noticed this shit too, and that's fucking awesome. Episode is. Hell is empty. Hell is empty, and all the devils are here. I like the play. I get it. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. Very off that what would it ash. take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel. That woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Yes, yeah, so we had an emotional time. It was fun. Your mom's name is Sarah, so congratulations, Rachel. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. <laughs> he does not Of like course. That. <laughs> In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. I knew that. Your birth mother. And see, and I get that, like, that whole situation, like, because I don't know my real dad. As far as I'm concerned, Jeff is my dad, you know, but he is not my birth dad. My birth dad is a fucking dickhead who I don't want anything to do with ever. Anyway, so just want to put my two cents into this. Did your dad I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? And see, I think that's wrong the way he tried to like hide it from her for so long. Because my mom was open about it. You know, my mom, she said, you know, this is your real dad. You don't have to meet him. You don't have to talk to him. Um, but I'm not going to stop you from doing so if you want to. Um, so the choice that I made not to ever meet my dad, not to ever see my dad, not to ever have a conversation with him was my choice and my choice alone. It's the only thing my mom ever wanted was that if I did someday choose to meet him, that I, I would let my mom be a part of it. You know, just to make sure that everything's going well. I mean, as well as can be. So I'd, I'd probably kill him. Anyway.
a hard tech surveillance Chloe. system. Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. I'm still here. I like the way they're doing this. I like the way that they're you know, bringing it all back to where we first originally found out and I make us do it again. I like that. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. And you were a jock. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, she looks a little like Rachel. I think that's what kept oh, me God. blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Just like Rachel. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. Because you have a tiny dick. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Escape for what? When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. Aww. Baby For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. What does say? Descent. What is the deceased? However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. I don't like where this goes. For is that Sarah, a syringe under the bed? The under the bed? Escape was always there. The syringe under the bed. Oh, she's reaching for it. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. She do. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. 
all the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. Again. I th I th right there, I think he did right. You know? But again, he probably should have talked to... I was like, Chloe, he should have talked to Rachel first because it should be the child who makes the decision whether to see their mother or their father, you know. Like I said, I made the choice not to see my father. You know, to me, Jeff was my dad. You know, there will never be another man like Jeff, you know. So, I mean, she probably should talk to Chloe or fucking Chloe, Rachel, but at the same time, I can understand at the point he wants to protect her. I just think he's doing it wrong. Dad turned into a viewfinder. Impress. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I sent her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. Arrangement for what? But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. Maybe people change, right? Sometimes. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Leave Rachel to deal with this alone. I know, I'm going up there in a minute. Do I have more pages? Shit, do I? Okay, so I remember that one. I used to think the strangest thing about the Embers was how normal they were. They seemed like a bad 90s sitcom family, and I did my best to play the part of the wacky yet lovable best friend. My chat with Rose, Rachel's surprisingly cool mom, and even helped us at the table. The goal was to get set in and out of there causing, without causing a scene, so we can make our escape. About that, it turns out Rachel couldn't sit back and let her cheating father act all high and mighty. I tried to distract her and remind her of our goal. It almost worked. Then Rachel snapped. I guess she, I guess she couldn't stand the lying him anymore. She told her mom about James making out with that woman. Everyone started yelling. Next thing I knew, Rachel was going full destruction on the table. Then the truth finally came out. Rachel's mom equals not her mom. Rachel's real mom equals make out woman. Mind equals blown. Chloe the wacky yet lovable. And then we met Sarah. What can you say about a woman so mysterious her own daughter never heard of her until now? From what James told us, Sarah is a drug addict who got herself mixed up in all sorts of crazy shit. And by drugs, I mean OD. The end up dead in alleyway drugs, not smokable and watch anime. <laughs> Sounds like a blast. Not the OD. The, the other one. When Rachel was a baby, Sarah would get high when she was supposed to be looking after her. Things got so fucked up that the James family, the James family, had to take Rachel away. The funny thing is, even as James talked about all the horrible things Sarah had done to her, he still seemed, I don't know, fixated. I guess you can see the power she had over him. 
actually, when he was talking about how beloved the Magnetic series to be, I couldn't help but think of Rachel. What if James is that too? Maybe is what makes him so afraid of her. Anyway, now Sarah's on Arcadia Bay looking to meet Rachel. After the years of taking the James's money to stay away, suddenly she wants a relationship, relationship with her daughter. James seems skeptical, and Rachel, I can't even imagine what Rachel must be going through. Well, that's cool, because we're about to find out after check this text. Oh, shit. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest Cast Party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. What is that? Oh, it's worth. Thanks, I can't. But you were amazing. I'll even admit that Mr. Keaton seemed a little disappointed when I arrived. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. We're not coming. I'm sorry. I wish we would, but we are not. Rachel is fucked up. I have to go help her. I have to go help my best friend or babe. I don't know what we are at this point. I'm actually confused. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Be here for Rachel. That's fucking helpful. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. To our, own, to our wonderful daughter, on the night of her first show, Break a Leg, we love you, Mom and Dad. This light needs more light. You need more no light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe like Do you have like a a rag or I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Yeah, you really could. I think everyone knows that. Let's save the flowers. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Put it in her water bottle. She needs to say hydrated, even though I don't. We were so close to making our break last night. No. We have an emergency kit in her room. I guess that makes sense now. I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter. That's after a few for you. Mom, I can't right now. Please. It's kind of sad to see because it's fucking Mother's Day. Not, you know, not in the game, but it definitely is here. I'm thinking maybe it was dirty and that's why I needed a rag, by the way. 
put the whole fucking... Oh, I mean... Okay. Yeah, that works. Fuck it. Go for it. You're... All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Stars. That doesn't make sense. Her tears are this way, but she's laying that way, so it's going to like that way. Across her, like, nose. I don't know. Hey. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. You Why? Do. It reminds us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. I used to love doing that too, like, especially like when it's late at night and I'm up late, I'll go like lay out in the smoke pit on the tables, just look up. I also like during the summer laying in the grass and looking up the sky. And really like transfixes me. Yes, I've had a hunch. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing. I've already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? <laughs> I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? all lies everything my entire life my dad <laughs> my mom if I can even call her that anymore and that other woman my real mom she's the biggest lie of all I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. stay here but I'm afraid of the copyright the fact that she's here right now that she came here for me I think I need to see her is that wrong of course not It, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to That's connect us to her. not a good idea. You do that? I'll give it a shot. 
Frank will kill you. He's not even close. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Fuck them. Like, can I handle that? I don't know anybody with a ride. Maybe I'll steal David. <laughs> don't worry. I've got that one covered too. Where are we gonna steal David? <laughs> you do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. <laughs> I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? That's a good question. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I still dream occasionally of seeing my dad. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. noise all around me. I don't like this. I did. Why are you pretending to drive a car? Why am I back in my costume? Oh, Jesus. What? Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Never. So. Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't do that. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? wrong? Don't you see anything? Here it is? Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not 
real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Well, he's dead, so what would you Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Shut up, Victoria. Or peeking in your fucking face. How did you get up there? <clears throat> she left the door unlocked for you. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? So, uh, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? I don't know. Thanks for being there yep. last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. You kick ass? Well, yeah. But... Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he's gonna get in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house. Just got showering and then grabbing tools for the truck. So maybe at the junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, boy, friends. Alright, so I do need to show Okay, I've got two hours to kill. Well, not really, because you just have to go out to the junkyard. Is... 
mom playing music? Hmm. Probably David. Wait. Wait. What? Hey. Hey, can, can we can we all chill the fuck out? I, I want to read, but oh. okay. I was gonna sit here and let you do what you need to do. Okay, are we done? Is it my turn? Can I? Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I used to think you're a little psychic now. Yep. You've got every line of that play fucking perfect. How could that be? You've been playing this, haven't you? Oh no, you figured it out. Oh no, it's oh no, you figured it out. Actually, I cheated, but you know. I've had it with this school. Nobody gives a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you're an awful person and then everybody suddenly realizes, that's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. No. Just don't. Oh, I'm a page. Thought you'd get away from me. But you gotta think, when you think about it, it's kind of amazing that anyone ever trusts anybody about anything. Take the stars for example. We learn these things about. We learn all about these things. Fuck. We we learn all these things about them in school. <laughs> but no one bothers to tell us the most important fact of all. Some of them are dead. If somehow Rachel would trust me with the most important thing in her world, finding her real mom. She didn't ask me right away. At first, she didn't even want to talk. It was kind of like the junkyard a couple days ago, but this time I didn't freak out on her. I gave her space. Here's something you never learned, Max. When someone you care about is hurting, you do anything you can, you can do to be there for her. Even if that means making a star shine, making a star shine in her bedroom. That's how I got Rachel to open up and ask me about finding her mom. I told her I think I told her I think I can do it if I reach Frank and get the truck running. We have a chance. Chloe, the conjurer of stars. Right here. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Okay. No awesome pirate towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Score. There it is. Oh. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life.
do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? Dragon or skull or bonus outfits. Let's look at the bonus outfits again. This has been already wore. I want to see the hot dog man one. The hot dog man. I want to check it out. It's fucking hilarious. I'm taking it. It is fucking hilarious. Uh, let's see what else we got. <laughs> I do love that one though. <laughs> what else we got? Dragon? Build my dragon. My dragon might ne never mind. I like it. Oh wait, I'll speak to our one. Alright. One last thing. I don't know who Hank is. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. We're down in the uh, Dad's toolbox garage. should be in the garage downstairs. Yeah, in the garage. In the gay garage. Montage of the garage. Tiptoe. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? Probably, it's probably just David down there playing music. <laughs> probably both down there dancing. It's one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you. Three minutes each side. Okay, They're okay, okay. gonna burn. <laughs> oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. You probably shouldn't avoid your mom. If I have the option, I'm going to talk to him. Hey, who's there? <laughs> Hi. Hey. <laughs> Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. I won't be here long. I'm... I'm not staying long, just <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. No, you're teaching him how to cook. Don't lie I to me. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. Oh, God. It won't take but a minute. But I got shit to do. Mom. I gotta fix the truck. I got like two hours. It looks really good. I haven't had a breakfast this morning. I bought waffles, but I didn't eat them. Chloe. I... Uh, I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I... owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe. I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. 
Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, <laughs> Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? What should I get to do? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... meaning to show you something. Maybe... maybe now's a good time. This... is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was... killed... near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Go on, can I fix the truck? Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. Okay, so... I don't want to accept David's offer. Not because I don't respect him or I don't, I don't want to like not get along with him because I do. But at the same, t but like I don't want to accept it because, I, I, it's like I know that's his friend, you know. So losing something like that, and what if I lost a picture? I'd feel like a fucking asshole. But I'm afraid if I rejected that, they're both not gonna get along with me. And that's what I want. So I think I have to accept it. David looks so young. And this Phil guy. They look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud <laughs> of you both. Mom. I don't get why she decided to shy away from a um, hug from her mom. I am dying for a hug from my mom right now. Mom. I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. <laughs> Jesus. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Alrighty then. I honestly thought we were gonna steal David's car. Which would have been hilarious, not gonna lie.
work with me here. Just drop it. Damn it. Damn it. Better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this. Oh, this is David. No oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Wasn't done. <laughs> uh, yes, you did. I noticed you took your fire school blocks. You're working on a project, sort of kind of project. I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you taking up an interest in something. Keep it up. Thanks, David. You're not a total ass. Fuck, I wasn't done! <laughs> Work with me, game. Mm. I think I want a tattoo. Yeah, I know. It's permanent, right? Not really. You can have this shit lasered off or covered up. I mean, whatever you want to do. But this thing, though, it's not. Not really, because we're not all permanent. Funny how much simpler life seems when you keep that in mind. Like, my hair. Wanted to see what it would look like blue, so I did it. It looks awesome. One day I'll make it all blue. If you don't like it, then so what? It'll fall out eventually. See how that works? You know what else isn't permanent? David. He actually tried to be nice to me in the most awkward way imaginable. Then he tried to connect with me about his dead friend, which, fine. A, a for effort, I guess. Eventually I got out of there and headed to the garage. Which David transforming into his own personal asshole cave. At least I got what I came for. Dad's toolbox. <sighs> I bet he would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. Off the junkyard to see if I can get that truck working. I know it's far from permanent, but there's hoping that the beast has a little more life in it. Chloe, the, imp the impermanent marker. Alright. Might as well check that first. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. David's penis. <laughs> that was good. I'm sorry. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Alright. So, we need... I can wrench it. Nothing doing. Oh. Okay, check. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Screwdriver, maybe? I don't know anything about trucks or cars and that for that matter. A lie. I know a little bit about a car, just not a whole lot. This thing is going to the fuck up. Shit. This thing seems pretty gunked up. If it I think I should move on to something else. Mm, battery post should be good. Here's your place, damn thing. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Oh, Not helping. Fuck. Okay, well, uh, pliers, that'll work. I change out tools here. Pliers. There. Fits like a Deadly electric glove. Good. And now we need a screwdriver. And take it to the distributor cap. That should help keep shit distributed. I don't know if that's accurate, so I can't Well, oh. fuck. Yeah, 
air quality. Wait. Okay, air quality health advisory. Our Bay, Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon, 745 a.m. Saturday or Sunday, May 9, 2010. Culmination State Park fire remains active. Moderate to heavy smoke expected. Limited limit outdoor activity. Well, shit. Well, reattach. Go back from whence you came. All right, and then I need. I think I need a screwdriver this thing. I keep nothing doing. Fuck. Hello. <laughs> Maybe. Sick. It's good, I think. That's probably not health healthy. You should maybe, you know, rinse your mouth out with water. So now I think I need to grab my pliers again. And fire not up. helping. What the fuck? Back to the wrench, I guess. See if that helps. Oh, okay, that's what that is. There we go. <sighs> Much better. Yeah. If we can get this started up. Spark plugs busted. Damn. Carbon deposits. Of course. Oh. He did just have them replaced. What he said, anyway. Please, I need you. Nice. Yeah. Hey, junkyard queen. Where are you at? Hey, holy shit, your hair. It's so <laughs> badass. <laughs> exactly. That shirt looks awesome, too. I might add. Thank you. You like anything that starts fire. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his oh. fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? 
We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Seriously, Frank? If you think I would pocket a thousand bucks of your money, you're even dumber than you look. I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? That's my question. Why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? Because... Fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No oh, need to get crazy. Ah! Ah! Shit! 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 Shit!
No. No. Always tripped up. David, because David was a combat vet. He should know how to help fix this kind of shit. I know I was trained. I'm not even a combat vet, but I was trained. CPR, all that shit. Battlefield wound surgery, or not surgery, but battlefield wound, like, temporary fixes. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the arteries and stuff, because that's how my dad died. He, uh, his gun went off and hit him in the leg, and it hit an artery. And so you gotta be really careful with his arteries, man. Chloe. What happened? This is a tough choice. I just want to go with my coin. Fuck. It's heads. I don't. I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? N nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. And we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But... 
When he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then... We were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Good stuff. Alright, it's safe there. It's been emotional. I don't want to play anymore. I'm not having fun. It's so hard to continue to play games like this, especially right now, because I, as some of you already know, I'm out of medications. My anxiety medication ran out last Tuesday, and I couldn't get them refilled until... I'm out of medications. So if I don't post any this week, it's because it's been a hard week. And I don't have any medications in my system, so it's hard to keep my cool. I'm not saying I have temper issues, but I do have really bad anxiety. Um, and sometimes being outside, you know, being at work when I'm not off, when I'm not off, when I'm off of medication makes it harder to, to be there and takes a lot of my energy away because I'm constantly looking around like who's trying to hurt me, you know. And I, I guess I know this very well, probably stupid, that I know probably no one's probably trying not, or fuck. No people are probably not trying to hurt me. But you know, it's one of my anxiety does to me. So, so I don't post any this week. I do, I do promise I will make an attempt to at least post the same as always one video during the week. Um, but if not, you guys know why. And, uh, you know, Thursday night, I should be okay to record at least one video, and then Friday, of course, two videos, as always. So, as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. If you have suggestions, gameplay tips, comments, put in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.